Okay, Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Um, I think what I try to understand from um, Allah's book is a lot of psychology. Like, you know, people losing their temper, people getting angry in the middle of arguments, whether it has to do with politics or family or anything else. This is a psychological issue. Before it's a political issue or a social issue, it's really how we think, how we process things. I think the thing to remember is aql, like Allah keeps saying, afala ta'aqilun, why don't you use your intellect, why don't you think? Uh, the word aql in the Arabic language actually comes from iqal. Iqal means the rope that the Arabs used to tie on their head, and they used to tie it to camels. So when they would travel, and they, uh, they stop somewhere, they take the rope off and they put it on the camel so the camel doesn't go in the desert somewhere when they're taking a rest. That's called the iqal. The idea is the intellect is something that holds you back. You can't think clearly until you can control your anger, until you can control your greed, until you can control your desire, until you can control your emotions. You can't get rid of your emotions, but you have to control them. And the moment one of them goes out of control, you're not able to think clearly anymore. You see, even for example with Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam is very famous for having a very strong temper. He saw a man hurting another man. فَقَضَى عَلَيْهِ He punched him. فَوَكَزَهُ Musa فَقَضَى عَلَيْهِ He punched him and he died. The guy died. And Musa alayhi salam immediately realized that he had them in amal shaitan This is the work of shaitan. This is very important to understand. Musa alayhi salam saw injustice. He saw somebody doing injustice to somebody else. So he took an action. How is that the work of shaitan? That's not the work of shaitan. He was actually doing something good. So why did he say this is the work of shaitan? He said it because he acted quickly. Al ajilatu min shaitan. He acted quickly without thinking. Which is why he immediately turned back to Allah and this time he says, I'm never going to, you know, I'm not going to back up criminals ever again. The next time he saw the same thing, he actually stopped and, and thought about it first and before he took any action. This is the same Musa alayhi salam. You know when Banu Israel came and told him, we will not believe until we see Allah face to face. Or when they, they told Musa alayhi salam, that, you know, uh, what kind of cow, what color cow. They made him very angry. And he said, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ أَنْ أَكُونَ مِنَ الْجَاهِلِينَ I'm, I'm asking Allah's protection. I seek Allah's refuge that I will become jahil from those that are jahil. What does that mean? Jahil is the ap opposite in Arabic of aqil. Aqil is not someone who understands. Aqil is someone who controls their emotion. Musa alayhi salam already understands. Once you, are, once you understand, you cannot become ignorant. You're already knowledgeable. He's not worried about becoming ignorant. There's a bad translation says, Anakuna min al jahilin. He asks Allah, I ask Allah that I don't become from the ignorant. No, no, no. He's asking Allah that he doesn't lose control over his emotions. Because in that moment, he can get very angry and he might punch someone again. And they're going to die. In other words, from our tongues to our thoughts, we have to ask Allah to control our, our emotional state. This is the hardest thing to do. The, the, the first step of that, is when, when somebody speaks to you, إِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا When somebody speaks angry to you, if they speak, you know, to every action, there's equal but opposite reaction, right? So when somebody speaks angrily to you, you get angry back at them. How do you talk to me like that? I'm going to answer you. That's normal. But Allah teaches that when somebody speaks to you in an ignorant way, then you have to respond calmly. You have to recognize that this person is trying to get to your emotions, don't, don't give them that. And you have to take a step back and remain calm. You also have the sense to know some conversations are useless. They're useless. And some people love having useless conversations. Some people really enjoy getting you angry. They love it. And they know exactly what to say. It's like a bomb goes off inside you. Ah, and you just have to... They know exactly what to say. And you have to be smart enough to know they're trying to do that. Right? They're, they're trying to play with your emotions. They're trying to trigger you. And as soon as you get angry, they say, Oh, why are you so angry? What's wrong with you? Doesn't Islam say you have to have sabr? And then you're... <laughs> so you, you have to recognize those games that are played. Like Firaun used to play a lot of games. Right? He would insult Musa alayhi salam. He would say, Oh, you committed murder. Now you're a prophet. 
You should listen to you. And, and those kinds of things can aggravate. In conversations about politics, about family, about whatever, sometimes people say things you have very sm strong disagreement with. You have to decide sometimes, if I have this conversation, this debate, is it going to solve anything? 30 minutes later, they will be angrier, I will be angrier, and we used to be friends, now we're not even friends. But nothing changed. Nothing changed. So just to, for an individual to just realize some conversations are not worth getting angry about. Just knowing when to stay silent, you know. Uh, last thing I'll share with you is an old Arab saying, it's really beautiful. Um, they say, anadam ala sukut afdal min anadam ala kalam. Like they say, if you feel bad, I should have said something. That's better. Then later on you feel bad, I shouldn't have said something. Why did I say that? It's better you feel bad that you didn't say something. That's smarter. So may Allah make us better in control over our tongues so we don't regret. Especially in social media, right? You can just quickly say terrible things, hit send, and... But every time something bad you say, somebody reads it, it goes on your deeds. So be careful. Because that's not just words that are said, they're read over and over and over again. Right? So may Allah protect us from that.